Well, as they told you, I'm your director, uh, and I'm here to welcome you. Welcome to historical Jackson Mill. You guys are the best that your high schools have to offer. You will make history this year, first off by being the 84th class that have come through these grounds to graduate from Mountaineer Boys State. Secondly, this year we are doing a joint venture with American Legion Auxiliary Rhododendron Girls State and your legislature that you pick will travel to Charleston on Thursday. The Girl State Legislature will also travel to Charleston and they will do a joint session in the state capitol, in the real Senate chambers. So that's a pretty big honor. So that's, you all will make history. What I wanna make sure that you all are aware of, there are opportunities by going through this class that you can't get anywhere, any, any place else. Make sure you take advantage of it. You only get one shot at this. Make sure you make the best of it. I'm gonna to talk to you again throughout the week and again on Saturday at your graduation. And I'm probably gonna ask you some of these questions again. Did you get anything out of this? Can you take it back to your hometowns and your high schools and spread it around? Because whether you guys know it or not, in one short year, you're gonna be running things. You're gonna be graduated from high school, going to college, going to work, running for office, really, somewhere, you're gonna be running things. And old guys like me are counting on that for you guys to take care of us. So I'll get off here now and I'll turn it back over to Mr. Hall. And again, welcome to Jackson Mill and thank you for being here. presentations from our Americanism team. Here at the American Legion Mountaineer Boys State, you'll say the Pledge of Allegiance numerous of times before you leave. Have you ever stopped and thought about what you're truly pledging? This is our pledge to our country. You'll hear it a lot, just 31 words. What does it mean? Please listen to the following words and think of them the next time you recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. I promise to be true. To the flag. To the sign of our country. Of the United States of America. Each state that has joined to make our country. And to the republic. A republic is a country where the people choose others to make laws for them. The government is for the people. For which it stands. The flag leads the country. One nation. A single country. Under God. The people believe in a supreme being. Indivisible. The country cannot be split into parts. With liberty and justice. With freedom and fairness. For all. For each person in the country, you and me. The pledge says you're promising to be true to the USA. Remember, the Pledge of Allegiance is more than just 31 words put together to form a standard. It's something that you're promising to uphold. It's something that you freely accept. It's something that through history, Americans have died for and held true to their hearts. It's something that you rec should recite with the utmost pride and respect. You're pledging to yourself as an American. Think of these things as you recite our Pledge of Allegiance. We will now have a special ceremony to honor those servicemen and women who are sometimes forgotten. If you notice, there is one flag off by itself alone. That flag is the missing in action prisoners of war flag. This ceremony is for our nation's MIA and POW veterans. I call your attention to the small table, which occupies a place of dignity and honor. It will be set for one, 
symbolizing the fact that members of the armed forces are missing from our ranks. They are referred to as POWs and MIAs. Remember, we call them comrades. They're unable to be with their loved ones and families, so we join together to pay humble tribute to them and to bear witness to their continued absence. Let us remember. The table is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner alone against their oppressors. Let us remember. The tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. Let us remember. The single red rose in the vase reminds us of the families and loved ones of our comrades in arms who keep the faith awaiting their return. The red ribbon tied so prominently around the vase is reminiscent of the red ribbon worn on the lapel and breast and many bearing witness to their unyielding determination to demand a proper accounting of our missing. Let us remember. A slice of lemon is on the bread plate to remind us of their bitter fate. Let us remember. The salt on the plate is symbolic of the tears shed by those who wait. Let us remember. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us. The chair is empty. They are not here. Let us remember. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope, which lives in our hearts to illuminate their way home away from their captors to open arms of a grateful nation. Let us remember. The American flag, the Armed Forces flag, and the MIA POW flag reminds us that many of them may never return and have paid the supreme sacrifice to ensure our freedom. <clears throat> Let us remember. The Bible reminds us to pray to the Supreme Commander that all of our comrades will soon be back within our ranks. Let us remember and never forget their sacrifice. May God forever watch over them and protect them and their families. Please rise for a prayer to our veterans. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the brave men and women who have sacrificed through the years defending our nation. We ask that you bless all veterans, past, 
present, and future. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As a tribute to all of our departed comrades who have joined the post everlasting throughout our nation's history, please remain standing for the playing of taps. Hand salute. <laughs> You may be seated. This concludes our MIA and POW ceremony, and I ask if you see a veteran, tell him or her thank you for your service. And also remember those who cannot be with us today because they're missing, prisoners, hostages, or gave the ultimate sacrifice. That song you just heard, how many have heard it before? Okay, very good. What, do we, what is that for? Does anybody know? Yes, sir. Right, those who have fallen, that's, that's one thing. Does anybody know where it came from? Yes, sir. Yes, in the Civil War, but where? Which country did it come from? No, no, no. It's actually a song from France. Its original name was Tattoo. A, a northern general didn't like the song the way it was to use it as a funeral dredge or a funeral march. It also was used to signify the end of the duty day. So they changed it around a little bit to get the notes that you hear today. One of the first people that that song was played for at a funeral was General Stonewall Jackson. The song was originally used in a small town called Harrison Landing, Virginia. So ever since then, that song has been used for signifying the end of the duty day and to as a funeral march or paying honors to a fallen. Now, every night here at Jackson Mill that you're here, you're hear that song. That means it's lights out at the end of the day. You'll hear it every day. I just wanted you to know that for now. Now, how many of you went to one of our orientations? Quite a few of you, very good. So you heard me talk about these four things up here. You guys remember that? There are four pillars that the Legion was founded on. The Legion was founded in 1919 at the war to end all wars, at the end of World War I. Well, we know now that that didn't happen because we're still fighting wars. Now, the four pillars are the principles of the American Legion. They are veterans, defense, Americanism, and youth. This program teaches all of those. So when you hear about the four pillars, 
that's what we're talking about. If we say that, drawing this stuff, we're talking about the principles of the American Legion. That is what we were founded on. Now, if you look at the sides, you guys look that way, you guys look that way, you'll see a banner hanging up there. That is the American Legion family banner. There are several organizations that help the American Legion. So we're going to talk about each one and show you each individual emblem. As I said, the American Legion was founded in 1919. It was founded in France. It was founded by a few veterans that said they wanted to make sure they were taken care of, them and their families, when they came home. The American Legion get, received its charter that same year from Congress and began building the largest wartime organization in, the, in history today. We already talked about the four pillars, but you see in front of you, there shines an emblem of the American Legion. It is a badge of distinction, honor, and service. It stands for God and country and the rights the highest rights of men of, of, the, of our country. The American Legion Auxiliary, which is the sponsors of Rhododendron Girl State, was also founded in 1919. This volunteer organization works side by side with the American Legion to assist veterans, communities, youth, and Americanism as well. That's the American Legion Auxiliary. The next is the Sons of the American Legion. The Sons of the American Legion was founded in 1932. It, it exists to honor the service and sacrifice of legionnaires, or our fathers, grandfathers, mothers, and grandmothers. As Sons of the American Legion, the member must be a direct descendant of a wartime veteran eligible for the American Legion. The American Legion Riders. In 1993, a small group of riders started the American Legion Riders, and now it has become part of the American Legion family. They strive to serve the community, state, and nation, and follow the principles of the American Legion. That are our four pillars. There stands an emblem of service to the American Legion. Now, when you put all those four together, you come up with what we call the American Legion family. And it's a very powerful organization that does a lot of good for a lot of places in the world. That is who sponsors Boy State, Girl State, an oratorical program, high school scholarship programs across the nation. That is your American Legion and its family in action. Thank you very much.